Good morning everybody and today we're going to have a story about some bears because my family love teddy bears. This is grandma bear and this is little baby bear and today they're going to have some fun. So once upon a time little bear went to visit grandma bear. Hello grandma bear, hello baby bear. What should we play today said little bear. I don't know said grandma bear, let's have a think. So they thought, I know, said Baby Bear, can we go in the garden and play hide and seek? I love playing hide and seek. That's a great idea, said Grandma. So they put their shoes on and out into the garden they went. You count, Grandma, and I'll go and hide, said Baby Bear. So Grandma started to count. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. When she'd finished counting to ten, Baby Bear had hidden. So now she had to find him. I know, said Grandma. Baby Bear loves hiding behind the trees. So off she went to look. Baby Bear, where are you? Grandma looked behind the tree. Baby Bear wasn't there. Grandma went and looked behind the garage. Boop! Baby Bear wasn't there either. Where could Baby Bear be? thought Grandma. Then she heard some giggling. Ee! Ee! And she noticed the basket in her garden was moving just a little bit. I know, thought Grandma. Baby Bear's under the basket. I'm going to sneak up. And Grandma said, Boo! And Baby Bear jumped up in surprise. You found me, Grandma. Yes, I did. And they had a cuddle because they were so happy that Baby Bear had been found. This time, it's your turn to hide, Grandma, and I'll come and find you, said Baby Bear. So Grandma went off to hide and Baby Bear counted. Can you count with Baby Bear? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Grandma was all hidden and now Baby Bear had to go and find her. So Baby Bear went running off into the garden to look behind the trees because that was a favourite place to hide. Where's my grandma? Ready or not, I'm coming to find you, said Baby Bear. Baby Bear looked and said, Boo! But Grandma wasn't behind the tree. Oh no, she was somewhere different. Baby Bear decided to look behind the garage. Boo! But Grandma wasn't there either. Hmm, thought Baby Bear. My Grandma's getting rather clever at hide and seek. I wonder where she could be. Baby Bear turned around and noticed a lump under the picnic blanket. Baby Bear thought, ooh, I wonder if Grandma has put the basket under the picnic while Grandma's not here. I'm going to sneak and have a look for a biscuit. So off Baby Bear went across the garden very quietly to get a biscuit. Got to the blanket and thought, ooh. Grandma's not here. I'm going to get one of those homemade biscuits. He carefully pulled back the blanket to find the picnic hamper and boo! Grandma was there to surprise him. Little bear jumped in the air. Oh my goodness, Grandma, I thought you were the biscuits. No, it was me hiding under the blanket and they had another cuddle. They'd had such a fun time playing hide and seek. But then little bear said, I think I'm hungry now, Grandma. Please, can we go inside and get our picnic? OK, said Grandma. Let's go and see what delicious things we can eat today. So they left the blanket in the garden ready and off they went to get their picnic. Can you say bye-bye? Because they're going now. They've finished playing hide and seek. Bye-bye, little bear. Bye-bye, baby bear. Bye-bye, colour box children. See you again another day for another story about Grandma Bear and her baby bear. Bye!